Okay, hello my friends. Here I'm going to show you a bunch of CCTV camera housings, specifically Pelka ones. Um, how they work, what kinds you should use. You want to put them outside around your home, business, building, or whatever you want. <clears throat> so the most common kinds that you'll see are like this. Pelco EH3512. I guarantee you if you look at any government building or any uh, high security industrial setting, you're going to see a housing like this with a camera in it. These are what are called fixed cameras because they are fixed and they are not going anywhere. A PTZ is something like that because it'll pan and tilt and zoom around. So this is a different kind. This is a Philips. Sometimes they come as Bosch Unity line. It's called because it's uh, all in one pre-wired camera lens, sun shroud housing, and mountain one. <clears throat> not gonna open it. Open it. It's a pain in the ass. You have to unscrew that, flip open the latch, unscrew these. The slide comes out, and I would imagine it's just very unpleasant to work on if it was on a wall or up on a 40-foot pole or something like that. So I don't, I don't like this type of style. But I mean, it's good housing, good camera. If, once you got it set up, um, it has the heater and fan inside of it for the defrost in the winter time. Here's the Pelco H3512, 12-inch enclosure. This one I've gone and added just a little Chinese made heater with circuit board over there which is more than enough to keep it toasty warm from fogging up or any moisture accumulating inside of it. Here is a just a regular EH3512 with this uh, EM1900U J gooseneck style mount that you would either hang from a ceiling or a wall like that. But from a wall you just flip this down and attach it to the wall from a ceiling like that. But this is made for a ceiling because when you put it on a wall you should use the proper mount for it. Which would be something like that or like this. This is actually an indoor mount. You do not want to use this outside. I have seen people mount them like that with this type of mount. So this is only for the inside cameras. Otherwise it will rust and get loose and a whole bunch of shit you don't want. But the correct one actually is this body here, but the head is just a different style. It's like a head like that, or like this, or well, not really, but similar. And I think it's called a EM1450, something like that, which is the correct mount. These are EH3508, 8-inch enclosures. <coughs> this one would be an EH3508-2. The dash 2, because it has a heater... Uh, actually a fan and a heater heater defroster actually because you have the two little heat elements here and then there's this aluminum piece around the front lens of the enclosure that warms everything up for the uh, defrost and defog so it'll uh, melt away any frost that builds up on the outside and I guess the fan circulates to keep out the moisture or cut away the moisture I really don't see how air can circulate in a closed enclosure, but that's the logic behind it, and I guess it seems to work. <clears throat> this one here is a cheaper Samsung GVI made. Very plastic, even not well made. I don't even know if this is metal or just like a an enamel plastic type thing, but this would not survive for a long time. Something like these, you can put these on buildings, and some of them are 20, 30 years old, I think. Well, probably 20 years old, because that's about as long as they make making them. But these will last very, very long, and they will clean up just nice. These these are all used, and I've cleaned them up. You just uh, wash them out, and they come back good as new. Take the electronics out, of course. Uh, so going back to this one, this is the cheaper Samsung one, the camera in it. 100 millimeter lens for long range zoom has the same circuit board here minus the fan as I put in here. It's that same circuitry. Ideally, I would like to get a Pelco one. It would be a heater kit. Uh, they're very hard to find, so it's just better to get like an old enclosure and then sell the enclosure separately and keep the electronics. This is what one would look like without anything in it. It's bare. These smaller 8 inch ones are just for uh, compact cameras, basically, like I have here. This is a C10DN 6 high resolution, low light camera. 
I have a little 5 to 50 millimeter Computart lens on it, which works just grand, just fine. They are spring loaded, so when you're trying to work on them outside, this is not going to be flapping around. That's it for enclosures. Um, over to dome style, which is another type. This is a DF5, a DF5 O E or EO or something, because it is environmental. So inside here is another C10 DN-6 camera, and it has the duct over here and the heater, and then there's uh, sorry the fan, centrifugal fan over here, and there's a heater element which will blow warm air to the camera and to the lower dome assembly. And that's how this one works. This is a, uh, what's the model? It's a, yeah, DF5-PG-E1. And it looks like they've put a little sticker over here where it says CE. See that? It would say CE under there. I don't know why they do that. I guess it's not CE approved. I forget what the CE rating is. I know there's UL, which is the Underwriters Laboratories, the ULC, uh, Underwriters Laboratories of Canada. There's the CSA. Canada Standards Association, which is for more electronic components, I think. And the CE, I forget what that one is, but that's weird. I've seen they put stickers on them on the Pelco model numbers, I guess because that's because uh, it's not approved for that or whatever. Anyway, it's just an interesting remark. So this is the same <coughs> as a, uh, as a Spectra housing. It's the same housing, it's just different components. That's just my little Pelco sticker I put on there. It doesn't come with it. Um, here is a Spectre. You can see it's pretty much the exact same thing. The only difference is this has a PTZ camera in it. This is a Spectre 4 with the older style IWM-GY. This is actually an IWM-24-GY because it has the 110, uh, 220, or 240, 224 volts uh, adapter in it. This is an... I forget what it's called, IDM, let's say, IDM 4018 mount, this is a odd arm, I don't know what specific application it's for, but it's just another way to mount it, and this thing pops off and you can mount your cables right through it. This is an SWM-GY, the dash GY is for grey, because they call this a gray finish, which is not really gray, it's more white, off-white I guess. And these are all aluminum powder coated paint, which is not going to chip off anytime soon. To mount it, there's the, uh, the clip that goes on the wall, I have it in the bin over there, so that it's flush mounted with no exposed screws or anything except for that little one on the bottom. Now, if you don't want to go camera housing con uh, combination, you can do an all-in-one type thing, whereas they have the cam closure series. This is a ICS 300 series camera. There's the ICS 200, which is that little triangular wedge style one, and of course the ICS, I think, 110 and cam closure 2 and all kinds of other ones that are the, the little dome style that have this type of little camera in them. Uh, if you're going to put it outside, I highly recommend a true day-night camera that's going to snap into black and white in the night hours so that you can get good uh, video resolution. This is a day-night camera. I forget the full model number. I've actually repaired this one because when I got it, the retards who uninstalled them had just friggin' cut the whole wire. So I had to go ahead and find out the connections here and get a new one of these BNC connectors and solder it all into position, but it works just fine now. So, that's about it. Uh, shit, it's about a 10 minute video. But, I hope you got some information and got to see these enclosures a little bit up close. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, you need some help uh, picking something out or setting something up uh, with any CCTV related equipment, you can contact me through the uh, Facebook page, which I have down below in this video. Or, uh, Shoot me a message and I'll get back to you and let you know. Take care, enjoy, and thank you for watching.